New Curtin University led research has found that the world's next supercontinent, Amasia, will most likely form when the Pacific Ocean closes in 200 to 300 million years. The research team used a supercomputer to simulate how supercontinents form. They found that because the Earth has been cooling for billions of years, the thickness and strength of the plates under the oceans reduce with time. This effect makes it difficult for the next supercontinent to assemble by closing the young oceans, such as the Atlantic or Indian Oceans. The study was co-authored by researchers from Curtin School of Earth and Planetary Sciences and Peking University in China and published in National Science Review. Lead author Chuan Huan from Curtin's Earth Dynamics Research Group and the School of Earth and Planetary Sciences said the new findings were significant and provided insights into what would happen to Earth in the next 200 million years. Over the past two billion years, Earth's continents have collided to form a supercontinent every 600 million years. This is known as the supercontinent cycle. Thus, the current continents are due to come together again in a couple of hundred of million years, Huang said. The team's simulation of how the Earth's tectonic plates will evolve shows that in less than 300 million years, unlike what previous scientific theories say, it will be the Pacific Ocean to close as America collides with Asia. The resulting new supercontinent has already been named Amasia. Australia is also expected to play a role in this important Earth event, first colliding with Asia and then connecting America and Asia once the Pacific Ocean closes. The Pacific Ocean is what is left of the Panthalassa Superocean that formed 700 million years ago, when the previous supercontinent began to break apart. It is the oldest ocean on Earth, and it started shrinking from its maximum size during the dinosaur time. Curtin's distinguished professor and co-author Zheng Shan Li, also from Curtin's School of Earth and Planetary Sciences, said that having the whole world dominated by a single continental mass would dramatically alter Earth's ecosystem and environment. Earth, as we know it, will be drastically different when our major forms. Li says that the sea level is expected to be lower and the vast interior of the supercontinent will be very arid with high daily temperature ranges. Earth now has seven continents with widely different ecosystems and human cultures, so it is fascinating to think about what the world might look like in 200 to 300 million years. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.